I didn't experience any discrimination until I decided to detransition. Hey guys, what's up? I got another video for you today. Remember to like the video, share, hit the bell notification and subscribe. And let's start with the video. Something I've actually looked into quite a lot. I've spoken to a few surgeons about it. So this person, as you can see right now, memory glands. Well, he thought he was going to feel comfortable and suddenly he was a man. And maybe that wasn't the best choice. Memory glands gone. So he's like, I want them back because for me it's the one thing that is a constant reminder of everything I've been through that is irreversible. Now in the UK and this is only my own knowledge from speaking to surgeons and Google. And that's why many people are like think about the things that you're making a choice and now you want to do something that's so permanent and you believe that well you, we remove that it's kind of okay we can just put a piece of meat we can put some fat you won't feel anything maybe your nerve won't even work maybe you won't feel anything so you put something back that you had a feeling now you don't have a feeling and now you have to try harder to feel oh like a woman do you know how many people are happy when they reach the best moment in their life and that's when depression starts so the fact that you're going to get something that you think is going to make you super happy that's like somebody that won the, won the world cup ask them how do you feel do you want to get the next world cup like I don't feel the fire anymore. Might even be when you're with your breast. Uh, essentially two main treatment options. So you can have implants or you can use a part of your body using the muscle and fat to put under the surface to make a breast like mound. Now, I'm sure lots of people know that implants have a lot of their own risks. They can be toxic. They can burst. Mm -hmm. And frankly, I just never. Bodybuilders also take testosterone but they know what they're doing insulin steroids bada beam bada boom you might get a humongous amount of acne i don't know you, you can't feel validated when you remove your chest get the acne of a man and then go ask all the men out there with have acne issue how well they're living on tinder or whatever or feel validation of other women i don't know you're not gonna have a good time you're changing something to change the world around you how they view you and for me the best way that the world can view you is when you change what's inside of you how you represent yourself because nobody can change that unless you need that validation from the outer world people need to educate these kids to have some self-confidence something like that you're going to be the person in the in the Facebook video that I'm going to see by by accident. Oh my God, my journey, bada beam, bada boom. I don't want you to be that journey. And this kid is going to be that journey. And there's so many, but nobody is talking about it because the LGBTQ do not like to promote something that is related to detransitioning. I really like the idea of something false being put into my body. I also went on testosterone that was false. So I looked really seriously into using my own tissue for reconstruction. What I really realized is that I will need to essentially maim part of my body that is currently whole and functioning. Cut a part of your body that's whole and functioning. Nobody is telling that. Nobody is telling them that. They are telling that, hey, the dysphoria is so bad this person is going to snippy snippy that's bad but hey who am i to say something about it i guess i'm a bigot again go ask one your surgeon all the consequences and tell them i don't think you're a bigot and nothing you can say is gonna make me a bigot and go ask that to five different surgeons and make an informed decision if you do that I can guarantee you, most of you won't even proceed with this. How much do you want to do something that you believe the validation can only come from people that look at you, not from yourself? You're changing something that you can only get the validation out there. In this world where everybody is freaking selfish, you want to depend on how the world is seeing you? The world is horrible. So I think you can see exactly where this video is going and why I wanted to cover it. But to start off, I actually wanted to cover it because I saw this gangster tweet. 15 year old told my parents I thought I might be trans and was referred to a psychologist once my PCP was informed. Then at 16 years old, after 
only five months of therapy, I, I underwent double vasectomy for gender dysphoria. I started hormones after the surgery. None of that was enough for me. I felt incomplete and desperate. At 17 years old, I had the implants put in my face to appear more masculine. At 19, I detransitioned. I had my facial implants removed, stopped testosterone, and now I deal with horrible health issues. I have my breast reconstruction surgery this month and I'm hoping to move forward in life and continue advocating for children and other D-trans people. After my transitions, I'm left with immense scarring, countless health issues, nerve damage and possible infertility. I'm autistic and had trauma previous to transitions. My doctors and psychologists were all informed of this but still choose to tell my parents and myself that without transitioning, I would end up committing hoo -hoo -hoo due to my gender dysphoria. Before you blame my parents, please consider the fact that they trusted medical and mental health professionals to do their job. If your child was extremely sick and doctors along with professionals told you this one thing would cure them, would you say no? I don't blame them, nor do I hate them. I love them with all my heart and feel very lucky to have them in my life and be able to call them mom and dad. Kids copy everything you do. So I can't be like, you're not to blame because there's always something you could have do done by just paying attention to your kid. You have humongous influence on your kid, depending on the school, what they can teach them there. But also as a parent, you have to be attentive about that. Don't give your child to a school as if they will do eight hours something with your kid. Because of course, surprisingly, in within a few years, you're like, what, what, what the heck is happening? I'm a gangster. I'm always on my child. What did you teach? What did you teach? What, 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 what did you teach? What did you teach? If my kid ever told me that the, uh, the school said, do not tell your parents this because you might be a Christian, oh my God, just to keep it a secret. Hey, I would blow up. And here she's replying to somebody else. In one of my many pre-op appointments for my breast reconstruction, I found that every single person that asked when I had my vasectomy is shocked and incredibly upset when they hear me say I was 16. Don't get me wrong, they're supportive and care about me. Then why the heck are they so surprised? That's the problem, open your mouth people. But I can't help but feel like a freak, at least a little. Oh well, I'm grateful to have skilled surgeon and surgical team. I'm excited to enter the next chapter in my life and reach the end of my detransition. 11 more days until I have boobs. Gender dysphoria article. Significant research among children, adolescents and adults demonstrates that access to gender affirmation therapy and gender affirmation intervention greatly improves mental health, health outcomes and save lives. Her response, you're joking, right? I had the mastectomy at 16 years old for gender dysphoria and it did nothing but ruin my life and actually make me want to Woo! If the number one reason for detransitioning is lack of support from peers and medical professionals, where's the proof? I didn't experience any discrimination until I decided to detransition. In fact, I was physically assaulted by old trans friends when they found out. Oh, and guess what? The experience didn't make me hate trans people, yet my decision to detransition apparently harmed trans people and their livelihood. If you think you're an empath towards people suffering, you're wrong. You're just angry given convenience. Here's the thing. I didn't expect everyone to believe me, nor do I need them to. If I've learned anything from detransitioning is that all I can do is share my side and be happy when people listen. And I don't need constant validation to certain folk to do to survive. I was speaking to a lead role in gender program. She said to me, Athena, when I look through your medical history, it seems that the doctors and therapists did everything right. You were the model trans child that we seek to help and fulfill the transition. Oh, there's a model, a perfect model. Okay. I replied, if you truly think that is the case and still ended up regretting transition, how can you guarantee all the other children being allowed medical transition won't end up like me? Her voice got shaky. That's why this is so complicated. Yes. 
I had letters from my previous therapist, my primary care physician and psychologist, all of whom backed up my decision and agreed that this surgery will improve my quality of life. However, every time I sent the claim for coverage, I was denied. At first, the reasoning was that I needed to be in therapy longer. Done. Baby therapy before you cut something off. Second, they didn't like how old my therapist letter was. Third, I have autism and they don't know how it will affect my decision making capability. Make sure you can see that it, what? I'm sure you can see the issue with that. So you can make an autistic decision to take it off, but not want to build it back. Therefore, if you keep denying my claims for coverage, they are breaking both state and federal law. Also included proof of my insurance covering mastectomies, which confirms they legally have to cover my reconstruction. I was still denied, so I opened the case with our state insurance commissioner and they did an investigation within my insurance company. Since I'm legally entitled to it, suddenly my insurance said they needed to confirm with my therapist that everything is good to go. However, after failing to reach my therapist, they accused me of lying about attending therapy. This was funny to me because they are the ones who have been paying for my therapy every single week for the past couple of years. Finally, I had my therapist personally call them because the fact that you have to go through all of that with also people from the LGBTQ that are going against you and then you have to personally feel comfortable with the damage that you have on your body, the health issue and everything why create a war when you just can have one simple battle in life that is consistent easy to manage now this person Athena has to go on a freaking Lord of the Rings journey I feel so bad for her and that's why I made this video so at least you can know what you might go through just in case it's not fear mongering the, mo the moment you try to talk about this and everybody is like be careful. Anyway, that was the video that I just wanted to show you. Like, share, hit the bell, bada beam, bada boom, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Peace. Don't get me wrong, my